Hey everyone, this is Steven here, back at it again with another video. In today's video, we're going to go over the NFL football sports card market, and we're going to be looking at some of the cards that have gone up the most and down the most over the past seven days. But before we get into that, if you enjoy this type of content and would like to see more in the future, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. So now that we got all of that out of the way, we can get into the actual video here. I did want to say that I hope everyone is having a great week so far and getting ready for the weekend ahead of us. The main goal and purpose of today's video is to take a look at the NFL football sports card market. And in particular, we're going to be looking at some of the cards that have gone up the most and also down the most over the past seven days. We did wrap up wildcard weekend last week. Overall, a pretty exciting weekend. We did have the majority of the games being blowouts, but still there were some pretty exciting games. And it looks like this weekend slate of football games are going to be even better, or at least I'm hoping. But I just wanted to take a quick look at the NFL football sports card market to see how some of the cards have trended now that we're another week into the playoffs. We can just see what cards are going up and also look at what cards are going down. But this is really going to be a look over the short term as we're only going to be looking at over the past week to really see what's changed since some teams looked really good in the playoffs or since some teams got knocked out of playoffs. But like we normally do, we're going to start off here with market movers. We're going to filter on football only. So today's video, we're really going to be focusing on the NFL only. And we're also filtering on grades. We're going to be looking at PSA 10s and PSA 9s only. So we're excluding all other grades and grading companies. And then we also do have a filter on the number of sales which is going to be 20 sales over the past week is the minimum requirement. And then we are also only looking at rookie cards only. So any non-rookie cards will be excluded from this list. Now we're going to start this list off like we normally do and look at the cards that have gone down the most over the past week. And then we're going to transition over to some of the cards that have gone up the most over the past week. So we're going to start off here with looks like Baker Mayfield keep this one short, flat over the past week. He did recently just get shoulder surgery, so it's going to be interesting to see how he comes back next season. But overall, a pretty awful season for Baker Mayfield, and his cards really reflected that. But over the past week, pretty flat. We have Chase Claypool down about 1%. The Steelers recently got knocked out of the playoffs. Justin Jefferson and his rookie card portfolio is down about 1% over the past week. Vikings did not make the playoffs, but he's still a pretty promising wide receiver heading into next year. Justin Herbert, his rookie card portfolio down about 1% over the past week. The Chargers did not make the playoffs. They ended up losing to the Raiders in a must-win game. But Justin Herbert, similar to Justin Jefferson, has a very bright future ahead of him. We have Tom Brady. This one's pretty interesting here. The Bucks just destroyed the Eagles, which a lot of people expected. But as of right now, over the past week, his rookie card portfolio down about 2%. Then we have Nick Chubb running back on the Browns down about 2%. Jordan Love backup quarterback on the Green Bay Packers down 3%. Another interesting one is Rob Gronkowski. His seven rookie card portfolio is down about 3%, even though, like I mentioned earlier, the Bucks destroyed the Eagles. Gronkowski has been playing really well over the past month or so with some of the other injuries that the Bucks have been seeing in the wide receiver core, so he's really stepped up big time in the receiving game. Then we have Kyler Murray. This one's down about 4% over the past week. I do anticipate this card to continue to drop throughout the offseason as he did not look very well, and the Cardinals had a pretty dismal performance against the Rams last week, so in turn, his rookie card portfolio down 4%. T. Higgins, this one's also pretty interesting, down about 4%. I know he had a huge spike when he had that monster game couple weeks ago so this just could be his card still coming down from that but the Bengals did just win their first playoff game in I want to say 31 years but in turn his rookie card portfolio down about four percent Saquon Barkley running back on the New York Giants down four percent Chase Young defensive end on the Washington football team down six percent we have Randy Moss a legend here down six percent then we have Drew Locke seems like he makes this list every week whether it's cards going up or cards going down but his rookie card portfolio down about seven percent then we have Tua Tungavailoa down also 7%. Then we have Dak Prescott, who had a pretty disappointing wildcard game against the San Francisco 49ers, as they did end up losing to the 49ers. So in turn, his rookie card portfolio is down about 8%. Derrick Henry just recently returned to practice, and the Titans do have the number one seed, but still, his rookie card portfolio down 9%. Jalen Hurts down about 9%, which makes sense because there's still a lot of speculation as to whether the Eagles are going to get another quarterback in the draft or look elsewhere next year as Jalen Hurts has not really been progressing throwing the ball over the past couple of years. So it's really going to be interesting to see what the Eagles do with Jalen Hurts moving forward. But in turn, his rookie card portfolio down 9%. Then we have Big Ben 
who potentially played his last season with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They ended up getting destroyed by the Kansas City Chiefs. His Ricky Carr portfolio is down about 10%. Then we have CeeDee Lamb, who also had a pretty disappointing game against the San Francisco 49ers. His Ricky Carr portfolio down 11%. Another interesting one here, but Aaron Rodgers and his rookie card portfolio is down about 12% over the past week. The, the Green Bay Packers ended up clinching the number one seed and had a week one bye. So we haven't really seen or heard from Aaron Rodgers over the past week or so. They ended up playing the San Francisco 49ers this upcoming weekend. So that's going to be a good game there, I'm hoping. But still, over the past week, his rookie card portfolio is down about 12%, which was a little surprising since they do have the number one seed and they are looking to make a playoff push. Then next up, we have Ezekiel Elliott. His rookie card portfolio is down about 17%. And Zeke really did not have a great second half of the season. Tony Pollard looked to be like the more explosive back in Dallas. Ezekiel Elliott's making a lot of money, so it is going to be interesting to see what Dallas does with his contract moving forward. And it does look like he's a little bit past his prime as the running back lifespan is pretty short within the NFL. And the Dallas Cowboys did just get knocked out of the playoffs by the San Francisco 49ers. So in turn, his rookie card portfolio down 17%. Pretty big decrease for Ezekiel Elliott and his rookie card portfolio over the past week. And the biggest loser or the cards that have gone down the most over the past week is Mac Jones. And Mac Jones and the New England Patriots got dismantled by the Bills. The Bills kind of put a whooping on them. And I know the Mac Jones cards... They had a lot of hype and his cards went up quite a bit when they went on that eight game winning streak. I know they've been cooling down quite a bit since then and I think that this blowout loss to the Bills really put the nail in the coffin on Mac Jones cards as they've been turning down pretty significantly over the past month or so. And the blowout loss to the Bills did not help with that. So in turn, his rookie card portfolio is down 23% over the past week. So now that we looked at some of the cards that have gone down the most over the past week, we're going to switch over to some of the cards that have gone up the most over the past week. We're going to start off here with Joe Burrow. And his rookie card portfolio is actually up about 3% over the past week. I'm actually a little bit surprised with that. I would think that his cards would go up a little bit more as they did beat the Raiders and got their first playoff win in over 31 years. And Joe Burrow, it seems like he's been really stealing the spotlight on a lot of these networks. He's been getting a lot of face time, so I thought that that was pretty interesting. His cards are up a modest 3% over the past week. Then we have Debo Samuel. We had a really good game against the Cowboys. His cards are up about 3%. They ended up advancing to the next round. They will be playing the Green Bay Packers. Then we have Deshaun Watson, another interesting one here. Did not play throughout last season for obvious reasons, but his rookie card portfolio up about 4%. Jonathan Taylor getting a little love here. Even though the Colts ended up getting knocked out of the playoffs, he was a very promising running back with one of the 1,800 rushing yards, if not a little bit more than that. His rookie card portfolio up about 5%. Daniel Jones, Danny Dimes on the New York Giants. Pretty terrible season for Daniel Jones, although they do have one of the worst offensive lines in the NFL. His rookie card portfolio up, surprisingly, about 5% over the past seven days. Then we have DK Metcalf, my boy, on the Seattle Seahawks, wide receiver over there. His rookie card portfolio up about 6%. Russell Wilson's also seen a little bit of love on the Seahawks. His rookie card portfolio is up 7%. Now both DK, Russell, and pretty much all of the Seahawks, a lot of their cards have been going down quite a bit over the past couple months or so just due to their performance. So this just could be a correction to some of the overreaction with a lot of those Seahawks players, including Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf, really going down in price over the past month or so. Carson Wentz on the Colts did not make the playoffs his cards are up 7% over the past week Patrick Mahomes this one makes sense the Chiefs just blew out the Steelers in turn his rookie card portfolio is up 7% and the Chiefs are starting to get back to their playoff form it's going to be a very good game against the Bills this week I'm I think I'm excited most to watch that game but still as of right now Mahomes and his rookie cards up 7% over the past week Jimmy G who got another playoff win against the Cowboys his rookie card portfolio is up 8% Nick Bosa who suffered a concussion in that game, but they did get the playoff win for the 49ers. His rookie card portfolio is up about 8%. I'm not sure if they announced if he's able to play this week against the Packers or not, but I do know that he did suffer a concussion. It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to play. I'm hoping that he is because I want that game to be competitive. Gardner Minshew, the backup on the Philadelphia Eagles, up 8%. And then Josh Jacobs had a pretty good second half of the season. His rookie card portfolio up 9%. Brandon Ayuk, wide receiver on the 49ers, up 9% as well. So it looks like a lot of the 49ers are getting some love on today's list. Josh Allen, 
His cards are up about 13% over the past week. That also makes sense as they recently blew out the New England Patriots. Again, I'm pretty excited about that Chiefs-Bills game. I think whoever ends up winning that game, their cards are really going to explode the following week. So if Josh Allen wins, I do think that his cards are going to continue to go up. Or if Patrick Mahomes wins, I think Patrick Mahomes' cards are going to continue to go up. But again, that's just my opinion. Barry Sanders, another legend here. His sixth rookie card portfolio up 14%. Then we have Emmett Smith, another legend, up 18%. Cam Akers, who had an amazing comeback from his Achilles tear at the beginning of the season. He looked pretty good when he came back against the Cardinals. His rookie card portfolio is up 18%, which makes sense. Matthew Stafford, who got his first playoff win against the Cardinals. His rookie card portfolio up 20%. Jacob Eason is another player that seems to come up on the list every week, whether it's going up or down. I'm not really sure what's going on with Jacob Eason as he is like a third string quarterback backup. So this one's interesting, but his rookie card portfolio up 22%. I'm not really sure what's going on there. It looks like some of the, the minimum sales on this are $3. So this could be just some, some lower valued cards selling in bulk or something like that. But in turn, his rookie card portfolio up 22%. And then the biggest winner or the card that has gone up the most over the past week is Actually, Jerry Judy, wide receiver on the Denver Broncos, who did not make the playoffs. Jerry Judy had an okay season. It wasn't anything spectacular or anything like that. But in turn, his rookie card portfolio is up about 27% over the past week. So a pretty big game for Jerry Judy over the past week. So with all that being said, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you found it somewhat entertaining and also informative. If you did, please feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe. Thanks and have a good rest of your day.